How's it going, roadies? Here's a re-record for you. I'm sorry that I had to re-record this so many times. My PSP is being kind of a piece of shit right now. The Pawnee Software Presents. It's like I just played this part. What, what is Nepal Each Software presenting, Rodies? I don't know, darling. Ow, my neck. Sorry if you guys can hear the PSP going. Dawn of Operation Panties, dude. Is what I'm playing. How's it going, Rodies? I'm playing Printy 2 again because, you know, the first time it kind of crashed and it was being a little piece of shit. So I'm going to start a new game on Baby Difficulty. I had to talk about this already. Hell's Finest is, yeah, if you hit anything, you're dead. You got two chances, you're dead. You got three chances, you're dead. So, yeah, I'm going to play on Baby and this game is really difficult. It, it makes fun of you for being on the easiest difficulty, but trust me, you will need to be on easy difficulty. Like, it's not even fucking funny. So, we're going to listen to the cutscenes because the cutscenes are hilarious, and I just watched them, so it's kind of like I just saw it. What's going on, dude? I don't know, dude. Master Edna's calling for us, dude. You lost it. It's gone forever. The, the telling skeleton is also an asshole on the first one. I might play the first one on the show, I just don't have it on the PSP yet. Shower down, angry rain. Keep raining, pretty bomb. Voice acting. To the throne room, dude. Run away, dude. That guy's not doing anything, though. But seriously, Rodies, the last time I recorded this, I thought it was a little bit suspicious because, like, uh, my recording set, like, my recording setup, when I was looking at my recording screen, was, like, 12 seconds out of sync. And, I, and then I looked at it, like, later in recording, and it was frozen on different, st like, still shots, and it would just be, like, half of my voice talking. It sucks. So, Rodies, this game go, is really fucking difficult, dude. And it'll make you say dude a lot, dude. But seriously, uh... X to jump, double jump, hang down. Okay. So this game mashes up pretty much platforming elements, RPG elements, and like freaking turn based RPG elements and camera angle elements. So pretty much it takes like the leveling up system of an RPG and like the like the skill set of a whole bunch of other like like minded platformers and blends them together seamlessly and it's actually a really fun like 2.5D game. So, air slashes do less damage than ground slashes. So, I'll kill this guy normal, and I'll kill this guy in the air. There you go. Killed. Hooray. Uh, destructible foothold blocking. They look different in each stage. Yes, they do. And you can kill them. Why are you, why are you climbing up, Prenny? Whatever. Kill him, dude. Yeah. And these baby blocks only show up when you're in baby mode, and they block off some death pits. And kind of block off some spawners sometimes. They're kind of helpful, so I don't know. This game is very, very difficult. And baby mode is only in this one, too. It's pretty funny. And if you hit the... That's a checkpoint. So if you fuck up in any level, you can just reactivate that, dude. And your damage is... Your stuff does more damage when you're in super mode, dude. Herp. See? Now it's all pink and murdery. Crap. I wanted to hit pound them. Ready? Crap. No! I missed the flan! Crap. I wanted the flan to see flan. Flan to see... You see, the baby blocks are blocking the spawner of the little girls. It'll spawn more of those little girls, so we'll, we'll know exactly what those enemies are when we get around to it. Also, roadies, my PSP is a little bit broken, so if it goes to a weird screen that's like, Hey! You want to turn off your PSP? I'm not going to turn off my PSP. That's just it being stupid. So, fair warning if it goes to that screen. I really need to get another PSP. So, if you hold R, you can just go down, you can look up, you can examine your surroundings. They're pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, dude. Watch out for fireballs, dude. Those guys you can't kill, by the way. Checkpoint, dude. See this game only because they do it a whole bunch, dude. Hooray. Those guys are originally really afraid of you. They're only afraid of you if you're in, like, super mode like this. Action switches will make something cool happen. And they look like... Yeah, they look like that, except... Shit! No, damn it, dude! There you go, got it. There you go. He's dead. That's the little girl spawner. Uh-oh! Death, yeah! Kill the other yeah, there you go. The other spawner is also dead. What? How'd that still hit me? Whatever. That's dead. And save point. 
The first level is really easy, dude. Like, I can blaze through it, no problem. I don't know what level to pick next, though. Crap, I couldn't do my super twirly. I, I did that in the original recording. Ow! Shit. Well, that's the first death. If you want to do a death counter, I'm not going to edit that in because that would take too long. At least in the actual campaign, you only have a thousand prinnies. And I know you're like, oh, that sounds easy. You can't pick up extra lives. Like, those a thousand are your a thousand for the entire game. So if you fuck up, it's your own problem. Crap. Die. Shit. Die. There you go. Alright. Square. Hit pound the gate at the end to go to the boss. Yeah. So at the end, there's a red one. Red one. Let me get the drink. Clink. Something, something, something. Flink. Plank. Oh, no, no, no. See, it's gonna do that. Fuck you. No. See, I can't hold the PSP weird or else it goes to that screen. I'm not hitting the home button, roadies. That's just if I, like, lightly twist my PSP. Like, ever so slightly, it does that. So I'm not gonna be playing a lot of PSP games on my show until I buy a second one. I think it's like there's something wrong with the door on the UMD drive. Let's watch this cutscene. Oh, you found me. Yes, I did. I just stand out way too much. Because you have a pig face. It's all because I'm so incredibly attractive. With your pig face. Whatever this is, I don't want to get involved, dude. It's kind of your own fault, dude. You there. Hold it. I'm not gonna hold it. On you as I yell, Stop you suspicious man. <laughs> Which is what I'm gonna say next time a bank robber shows up. I'm not in the mood for this right now, dude. Then I have no choice. Time for the first I boss. Teach you a very special lesson. Pow. Pigman with a cane is going down for real seal. Got a dude. Yeah, you do, dude. So, he has only two attacks. There's that. And then he has like a weird vanishing like fake out thing. I don't know if we'll do it if we can kill him enough. Where's he going? There you go. Urgh! I want to build up my combo. There you go, there's the fake out. A dogen. Yes, I can. Yeah. There you go. Yeah! Dude, that was easy. I didn't die at all. Good job, Prinny. Hooray! I'm the best, dude. Three minutes and 40 seconds and 44 milliseconds. Yeah! yeah genius, Thank you, dude. Alright, next. This is going swimmingly compared to the last recording session that fucked up. Let's see. Hooray! Prinny obtained the orb. That is the suspicious demon dropped. You think you're better than me, huh? A little bit. I don't believe you. However, I let you defeat me so that I could leave graciously. Are you really that proper, dude? After all, that is the proper way for a gentleman to act. Yes, it is, Pigman. And Pigman's rides here is brand new Lexus airship. I must be going. Later. Whoosh. And off he goes into the sunset. Uh oh. I'm hurrying, dude. Time for a cutscene, dude. See, this game makes it do it a whole bunch. I love how it's spelled D O O D, like how oh, the Devil Wears Prada spells it in that one song. Great song, by the way. And it's still loading. Oh, there it is. This is the Nether World. This is the Nether World. Where evil demons follow their baser instincts. Look, that one has delicious flan. Oh no! And now no one gets flan. Look at how sad that other printy is. At the lowest end of the totem pole are called prinnies. They possess the souls of rascals, knaves, and criminals. So if you do anything stupid, you're going to grow up to be a prinny in the netherworld. They serve out their afterlife through endless labor. At least that one had like a cool slice down with that like Etna statue. And that one's folding laundry. And that one's dancing. At least that one's sweeping. I don't know why that one's dancing. That's not really accomplishing much. And once again, an incident was about so in the first Prinny game, all of her snacks got taken, and in this one, something else gets taken. I wonder what. Look at the title. Pan up. 
or damn it, not pan. Zoo up. Ding, ding, ding. Now you know. But it was just one of her things. The next morning. Wonder what happens. It's still loading is what's happening. So much loading. I don't know. Oh, yep, there you go. All the Pernies are just partying and having a blast. The blam. Not me. Couldn't she just buy more? I mean, obviously she's wearing another pair of them, so... It's crazy, dude. Obviously somebody, dude. Her hair is awesome, though. She has an army of like 10,000 pernies, so, you know, odds are pretty high. Pretty good threat. Thank you, narrator. Exposition. Everyone's like, why is what? You get a magical scarf. Whoosh. Kick. Kick. I like how she, I like how first Bernie got super kicked though. It's hilarious. Aw. No, you didn't, Bernie. Bad things will happen. Gulp indeed. Buy one right now. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd buy one. Would it have, like, their beaks on it or just their skin? I don't know. And before we don't know it, another cutscene because it's an RPG, technically. It's a good question, dude. The Demon Lord's panties are mine. Yours, Phantom Thief. Phantom Thief? I heard about him. He steals all kinds of rare netherworld items, dude. I wonder who it is. Back with a rare item and catch him, dude. That's a great idea, Pretty Squad. How do we get a rare item, dude? I have no idea. Exploding is inevitable, dude. Yep, and that's your fate, dude. It's either you think the Pernies are hilarious and awesome. This marks the beginning of Operation Panties. It's either you think they're hilarious or you think they're incredibly annoying. There's no happy medium. Now we're loading. I'm going to record two episodes of this today and just see if it goes off well. You know, because I know I'm not going to beat this. This game gets super, super hard by like level four. So, yeah. How many hours left to finish the mission? Ten hours left to finish the mission. On the next installment of Pretty 2, I am going to do level 2, and it's going to be great. I'll see you roadies in the next one.